Talk adventure story for you from the world's only talking cereal, Snap, Crackle, and Pop, Kellogg's Rice Krispies! Kellogg's Rice Krispies brings you Wild Bill Hickok, transcribed in Hollywood and starring Guy Madison as Wild Bill and Andy Devine as his pal Jingles. In just 30 seconds, you'll hear the exciting story, The Secret of Sandy Hook. Boy, oh boy, is there ever something swell to see at your grocery store. I'll say there is, and you'll want to be the first to see it so you can tell your friends. The box Kellogg's Rice Krispies comes in. In fact, all the Kellogg's cereal boxes, they're all chained. Now, they've got pictures on the fronts and new interesting things on the backs. Games, cutouts, stories, and things like that. Now, you'll want to look them over, these brand new Kellogg's cereal packages, right away. It's an all-star breakfast show. See the new Kellogg's packages the very next time you go to the store. During the years they rode the plains of the Old West, United States Marshal Wild Bill Hickok and his deputy Jingles were in constant danger. Almost every day found them riding out of one cloud of gun smoke and into another in their fight to bring law and order to the land of sage and cactus. This adventure was no exception, for seldom had they been in more danger than when they rode down to Texas to find out the secret of Sandy Hook. Bill, those hyenas are yapping too close at our heels. Keep riding, Jingles. We don't want to be seen. <laughs> but they're throwing that lead too near my ears. Maybe we can lose them in these hills here. I hope you ain't dreaming. Turn off the trail here. Get around there, Buckshot. Come on, boy. Jump, Joker. Are we going to hide out here, Bill? We'll try it. Whoa, Buckshot. Whoa, stand there, boy. Oh, Joker, quiet now. Hold him down, Jingles. Joker, dog's on it. Quiet. You want to get a shot? That's no posse, Bill. Uh, why don't we just talk to them? They're past us now. John Gettings said to be sure not to let anybody see us, you remember? Yeah. Uh-oh. Bill. Bill, they're, they're stopping. That's bad. Are we going to ride for it? No. Let's wait and see. Something's wrong here. I've lost the trail. <laughs> Don't surprise me, man. Easy, partner. Those two hombres are trying to trick us, I reckon. Fan out and cut for trail. Hey, Bill, that Jasper's too smart for his britches. Yeah. This may mean trouble. Hey! I found it! Don't gun your Henri hide. Quiet, Jingles. All right, boys. Get out your rifles. Train them on that clump of pinion. If they make a break for it, shoot the kill. I don't like this, Jingles. Well, me neither. We got about 15 rifles looking right down our throats. We'll wait for his play. All right, you two in there. You got about as much chance as a rabbit in a wolf pack. Come right now with your hands pressed in the clouds. Bill. Well, there's one way to find out what their game is, Jingles. Reach and ride out. But let me do all the talking. Move out, Buckshot. Walk, Joker. Now, don't surprise them any. Here they come, boys. Get ready. All right, now hold your fire, you two-legged salamanders. Well, it's like smoking a possum out of a rotten stump. All right, you Randy's moving on them. Right. Now, gents, I'll just relieve you of them shooting irons. Here, Joe. Take these peacemakers and keep them for me. Oh, all right, you roadrunner. You got our guns. Let us put our hands down. Now, my arms are getting tired. Sure, put them down. We're going to tie them up anyway. That won't be necessary, cowboy. I'll decide what's necessary, buckskin bitches. Now that you've found your tongue, suppose you keep using it. Tell us who you are, what you're doing on this spread. Whose spread is it? Belongs to John Giddens right at the present. That mean anything to you? Nope. Oh, but Bill, I... Hold it, partner. Oh, 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 it means something to you, blubber boy. Uh Huh? Oh. I reckon the sheriff would be right glad we smoked you out of that brush. You could be just the coyote he's been out looking for. What's that? You'll find out soon enough. All right, men. Let's take him into old John. The sheriff can come to the ranch house for him. Come on. That's right. Mister, what do you mean by saying we might be the Jaspers the sheriff was looking for? Just this, stranger. He's got to find somebody to pin Hod Stewart's murder on. And it just might as well be you two. By the matter, son of... I reckon you'll both be stretching your necks from a high hickory limb. Say, did you see what I saw? Kellogg's on display in brand new 
brand new box is bright and gay. These famous cereals come your way. Don't be the cycle. The Kellogg's All Star Breakfast Show has a cheerful look and a lift for you. Start you off with a hoopty doo Kellogg's for breakfast and a happy, happy day. You sure want to see all the new packages that Kellogg's cereals come in now, because they've all been redesigned, changed. They're all new, all new picture packages. And there are lots of interesting cutouts, games, and things like that on the package backs, too. Your grocer is featuring this Kellogg's All-Star Breakfast Show right now. Did you see what I saw? <laughs> The Kellogg's All-Star Breakfast Show. In the Kellogg display at your grocer's, be sure to spot the new Rice Krispies package. It's swell. Ask Mom if you can get a big package of this famous talking cereal, the one that talks right up and tells you how fresh and crisp it is. Snap, crackle, pop. And you know how swell Rice Krispies taste with fruit or berries. Say, did you see what I saw? Kellogg's on display. In brand new boxes, bright and gay, these famous cereals come your way. Go see this eyeful, the Kellogg's All-Star Breakfast Show has a cheerful look. And a lift for you. Start you out with a hoop de doo Kellogg's for breakfast and a happy, happy day. When Wild Bill Hickok and Jingles were captured by the bunch of riders, they were taken to the ranch of John Giddings, the very man they had ridden west to see. Oh, 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 oh. Now you two go loose, climb down from them cayuses and walk inside. Don't forget, I got a six iron pointing right at your backs. This Giddings ranch house? That's right, mister. I reckon you'll be right glad to see we caught the pair that was causing the trouble around Sandy Hook Ranch. I reckon they're the ones we've been looking for, Miss Meg. Your pa at home? Yes, he's back at the office. Then you better step aside and let us through. Well, they don't look like criminals to me. We caught them right near old Bigfoot's cave. Could be they've been camping out there. Well, come on in. Straight ahead of you. Right through that door. Again? What's the meaning of this? Hi, boss. Caught you a couple of coyotes we smoked out of the brush. Coyotes? Why, you lame brain jughead? These men aren't... Mister, I don't know who you are, but I'd be right glad to sit down and talk peaceable with you. Huh? You don't know who I am? I said I don't know you from a lame maverick, but I hear you got trouble. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've never seen you before, either. All right, Gans, you brought him in. You better go round up some stock or fix a fence or something. You keep talking to me like that, and you're going to be scouting for another foreman, Giddings. Yeah, it wouldn't be a big loss, I figure. Now go on, get out. I'll send for you if I need help. <laughs> yeah, if I need it. All right, I'm going. And close the door behind you. <laughs> yeah, that sure is a mean Jasper you got for a foreman. No, oh, I reckon he's all right. Jingles just, just thinks he's a big steer in the corral, that's all. Bill, I'm dogged if I ain't glad to see you. Sorry I let your cow hands find me first, John, but... They just happened along before I knew it. Yeah, doggone near killed us before they caught us. Hey, wait a minute. What do you do with you? You can't keep putting me off. Meg, you're my gal and that's that. Hey, what's going on out there? Oh, Meg's having trouble with that no, gans. Let me go. Bill! Yeah, partner. You get him, Bill. All right, Gans, let her go. You keep out of this, mister. I said let her go. Sure, I'll let her go. Bill's got a gun! No! Your aim's not so good, Gans. Now, I'll take that gun. You'll take something else, no need. Come on, I'm waiting. Yeah, drop that sorry. gun. Here's one. No, stop it. Stop it. Fight it. We're going to, right? No. Hey, what's the matter, Gans? Find somebody you couldn't bluff? I'll get him yet. You wait. I'll get him once and for all. And that ain't no bluff. Now, go on. Get out. I never saw such fighting in all my life. Thank you, Mr. Why, I don't even know your name. <laughs> you just hang on to your hat, honey, and meet Wild Bill Hickok and his deputy, Jingle. Wild Bill Hickok? Well, no wonder. And Jingle. And Jingle. Yeah. Well, this is a big thrill. Thank I you. first met these two while you was back east at school, Meg. Oh, did they come to help us, Dad? They sure did, honey. Now, you sit down, gents, and I'll tell you all we know. Well, reckon we know a good deal already, Mr. Giddings. Jingles is right, John. Except 
Who's Hot Stewart? Well, he was a neighboring rancher to the south. Uh, Jumbo Jordan owns this spread above me to the north. Well, we know you've had trouble, and somebody they haven't caught yet killed Hod Stewart. That's right. Shot him in the back and right through the window. He was sitting just, just about there where you are in relation to the window. And somebody with a rifle shot him from a distance right before our eyes. <laughs> Bill! P- pardon me? P- Bill, speak to me! Well, they've killed him the same way they killed Hod Stewart. Not quite, Meg. But I reckon that was their idea. Oh, no, thank goodness. Bill, you sure gave me a scare the way you fell on that floor. Now. Sorry, partner, but this gives me an idea. Yeah, what's that, Bill? Suppose they think they got me. They might come out in the open with whatever their little scheme is. Well, they might at that. Well, it's worth a try. Meg, is there any wash out on the line? Yes, some sheets. Why? Good. You run out there like you were in a hurry and get one of them and bring them back to the house. All right, I'll go right now. Jingles? Yeah, Bill? You rush out to the pump with a wash pan and pump some water. Then rush right back in. I got you, Bill. They'll think somebody's searched for sure. Where can you hide me until dark, John? Why, in my room. Nobody ever goes there but me. Good. In about an hour, you and Jingles and May go outside and sit down where you can be seen. Look sad. That yeah, won't be hard for me, Bill, after what's been going on around here. Then pick a man you can trust, not Gans. And send him riding fast toward town. Toward town? And what for? He used to tell anybody he meets that there's been another killing and he's going for the corner. <laughs> It'll make everybody think you're a corpse. Here's the water, Bill. What'll I do with it? Wash your face with it, partner. <laughs> you know, you're not exactly the cleanest maverick I ever saw. Now, Bill, you quit hoorahing me at a time like this. Well, Gans, it's about time you got here. Hey, Jumbo. Huh? There's been big things going on down there. Me and the boys caught a couple of... Yeah, armor... yeah, Hammerhead. You caught Wild Bill Hickok and Jingles. Uh, you was lucky you didn't get your ears blasted off. Hickok? Yeah. Is that who that was? Sure. You sure see a lot through that telescope. Yeah, but I see more through the one I put on my rifle. Then it was you that shot him. Hey, that means you killed Hickok. If he's dead, I did. Just like I shot Hod Stewart. Oh, he's dead all right. Marnie just rode into town for the corner. No, he didn't. But I saw him. He told me. He rode as far as that sycamore clump and then left the road. Here. Here, take the telescope and look over under the rim of Hovering Hill. Huh? Yeah, uh, look. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, it's Marnie, all right. Uh-huh. Making a big swing back toward the ranch house. Now figure it out. You got my jumbo. I don't get it. I didn't think you would. That's why I got to do all your thinking for you. Then what does it mean? It means Hickok ain't dead, you dummy. If he was, Marty had gone to town and fetched the coroner. Somebody's setting up a trap. A trap? Yeah, that's right, a trap for you and me. Well, I ain't getting caught in no trap. I'm going to get You're out You're of... going to do just what I tell you to. And I'm telling you to go back down there and find where Hickok is hiding out. And tonight, after he's asleep, make sure he really is bait for that coroner. <laughs> Sure got to hand it to Wild Bill, Miss Meg. He thinks up the best ways to trick owl hoots and killers. Well, I just hope everything goes like he planned it. No, oh, it will, all right. Now, don't you worry. There. That's all the supper dishes dried and put away. Mm-hmm. Thanks for helping me, Jingles. Oh, and also for staying to protect me. Oh, now, Miss Meg, you don't have to thank me for something. It's a downright pleasure to be doing. Well, I know how much you wanted to go with Bill and Dad. What? So, the great wild Bill Hickok ain't dead after all. Gans, what are you doing with that gun? He ain't doing nothing with it, Miss Meg. I'll see to that. No, you don't, big boy. You don't draw on me and live to tell it. first in your gang to see all the new, yes, brand new, Kellogg's cereal boxes. Every single one of them is changed. They've got exciting new pictures on the front and swell new things to read and do on the back. See them. See them all at your grocer's. Did you see what I saw? 
The Kellogg's All-Star Breakfast Show. When you look over the whole lineup of new Kellogg cereal packages, buy a box of Rice Krispies. Ask Mom if you can get a big package. Rice Krispies are the talking cereal, you know. They go snap, crackle, pop when you pour milk on them. Have some Kellogg's Rice Krispies for breakfast tomorrow. Say, did you see what I saw? Kellogg's on display. In brand new boxes, bright and gay, these famous cereals come your way. Go see this eyeful. The Kellogg's All-Star Breakfast Show has a cheerful look. And a lift for you. Start you off with a hoopty doo Kellogg's for breakfast and a happy, happy day. While Jingles was shooting it out with Gantz in the ranch house kitchen, while Bill Hickok and John Giddings were out in the night running down the clues to the secret of Sandy Hook. All right, John, light your lantern. Let's look around here. Yeah, how do you figure to come to this spot, Bill? From the way that rifle slug went in the floor, it had to be shot from high ground. Yeah, yeah looks like you pegged it right, Bill. Look there on the ground. Yeah. Two horses stood here. One of them was here longer than the other, and it was a big horse. Well, how can you tell that? Footprints are wider, deeper. My guess is that it was a big man in the saddle, too. Hey, wait a minute. These tracks lead off this way. Hey, bring that lantern here. Here, here, here you are. What do you see? The big man rode off to the north. Didn't you say Jumbo Jordan lived up that way? Yeah. yeah he's a big man. <laughs> Bill, somebody shot the lantern out. Get on, John, quick. Bill, you all right? Yeah. How about you? You didn't hit me. Who in thunder was it? I don't know. I don't hear anything. You reckon you shot him? I don't know that either. Now you stay down. Hey, Bill, there he goes. Yeah, after him. Come here, Buckshot. Come here, Buckshot. Ready, John? Back right behind you. Good, let's go. Hi, Buckshot. Hi. Get that, Jasper boy. Yeah. Jingles, it's Meg. Oh, oh, thank goodness he's still alive. Oh, Jingles, can you hear me? Bill, Bill, they're, they're getting away. Jingles, Jingles, it's Meg. Meg? Oh, now I remember Gans. What happened? You and Gans shot it out in the kitchen. You oh. got him in the arm, but he creased your head with a slug and knocked you out. Where are we? We dragged you over here and locked us in the storm cellar. Then we've got to get out. We can't get out. This place is tight enough to hold an army. It is. Doggone it anyway. Why didn't I shoot straighter? Oh, he was just lucky when he hit you. we got to get out of here. Bill may be in danger. And Dad, too. Oh, but it's no use, Jingle. Say somebody. Anybody. Let us out of here. Jordan, we're chasing. He's headed straight for his house. Well, now we know who's been causing your trouble, John. Yeah, but if he gets in that house, we'll never get him. And he's almost there. Well, he's not going to make it. All right, Buckshot. Get him, boy. He's still got his gun, Bill. All right, Jordan, your time's run out. You ain't taking me, Hickok. Shoot him, Bill. Oh, no, I'm taking this one alive. You'll never catch me now. No, you don't, Jordan. I'll let you know. That's what you think. Ah, give it to him, Bill. You sure take things the hard way, Jordan. Watch him, Bill. He's reaching for a chair. That's the last thing he's going to reach for. Ah. Oh. Now, Jordan, you want some more? No. No. I had enough. But I didn't do it. Gans shot hard, Stuart. Gans? My foreman? Yeah, sure. I reckon I can prove different, Jordan. You can't prove nothing. There's a Model 73 rifle in the scabbard on your saddle out there. There's a shell to fit it. I picked it up where you took your first shot at us tonight. No. No, I tell you, Gant's done it. Why, a double-crossing sideways? Oh, oh, hey! Bill, he shot Jumbo. All right, Gant's. Drop that gun. I ain't dropping that. Hmm. Some of these varmints get kind of hard to convince, John. Yeah, they sure do. All right, let's get him in the saddle. Gantz can tell us all about it on the way back to the ranch. I'll tell you about it right here. That sneaking jumbo killed Hot Stewart. 
We'll have to get Giddens so he could take over both ranches. And you were working with him. Yeah, I was working with him. He promised to give me half the Giddens spread and the herd to graze it. Well, John, that about cleans it up. Let's go. Yeah. Hey, Megan Jingles ought to be right happy to hear the news. Let us out of here! Oh, God, and why don't somebody hear me? Wait a minute. I hear horses outside. Yes, yeah, so do I. What if it's Gans coming back? Oh, I can't help it. Who will have to take that chance? Hey! Well, partner, what are you doing down there? Oh, Bill. Uh, now, oh, we were just looking for a jar of blackberry jam. What do you think we were doing down here? Playing hide and seek? Well, simmer down, well... partner, and help Miss Meg up the ladder. We got the varmints that were plaguing the getting spread. You did, Bill? Oh, one of them, that sidewinder Gans, huh? Yep, and he told me about your gunfight. Oh. If you hadn't winged him, partner, I figure he would have got me before the night was over. I sure do want to thank you. Oh, it wasn't really nothing, Bill. <laughs> nothing at all. Yeah, I wish you two would settle down right here. Bill, you could be my new foreman and Jingles could do the cooking. Oh, I wish you would. How about it, boys? No, sir. No, sir, Ree, Bob, not on your life. <laughs> I'm getting as far away from this ranch and this storm cellar as Joker can take me. What's the matter, partner? Well, from now on, when I got any storming to do... I want to do it right out in the wide open spaces where there's plenty of room. Because <laughs> the way I'm built, I sure need it. <laughs> and now, here are the stars of Wild Bill Hickok, Guy Madison and Andy Devine. That's our story for today, folks. Be with us again on Monday. Yes, sir, we. Because we've got a real rip snorter of a western with plenty of gun smoke and action called Trail Herd Trouble. Meanwhile, Andy and I hope you'll remember to get Kellogg's Rice Krispies. Right. It's the world's only talking cereal. You bet it is. Andy and I think Kellogg's Rice Krispies are great. So long. See you Monday. <laughs> Yes, sir, Kellogg's, the greatest name in cereals, has brought you another exciting story of Wild Bill Hickok, starring Guy Madison and Andy Devine in person. Today's cast included Lillian Bayef, Tom Holland, Jim Nusser, and Ed Max. Our director is Paul Pierce, story by Larry Hayes, music by Dick O'Rourke. This is a David Heyer production transcribed in Hollywood. Don't forget to listen Monday, same time, same station, when Wild Bill Hickok runs into trail herd trouble. Now, this is Charlie Lyon... Speaking for Kellogg's Rice Krispies, the world's only talking cereal. Kellogg's Corn Flakes, America's favorite ready-to-eat cereal. And Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops, the cereal with the sweetening already on it. Mm -hmm.